scamming may not be something you think about on your day-to-day -day life, but it is something that police say you should always be aware of happening. But what we do see as we change through different seasons and types of years, certain scams reflecting those types of years popping up. Uh, for example, as we head into the, the busy holiday season, more and more people are shopping online. Uh, and when you're doing that, you're putting your credit card information, you're putting personal information online, and scammers are aware of that. Whether it be a phone call or an email, there are certain things to look out for when communicating with people. But what we have seen is we've seen some underlying or common, um, common themes to all frauds. Uh, the first being uh, they're going to represent or try to convince you that they're from an organization that you trust, uh, be it uh, the government, Canada Revenue Agency, a utility company such as BC Hydro, and recently we've seen the Ortho or North Okanagan um, our number, police number, being used to try to trick the caller into believing it's someone credible and they can trust on the phone. Um, from there, what they're going to do is they're going to pressure you or they're going to provide you with a lure or um, something to keep you interested, something to entice you. Maybe a reward or you've won a contest or even a medical emergency for a family member. Um, once they have that, the next thing that's going to happen is they're going to try to um, pressure you that quickly, right? Scammers and fraudsters don't want you to take the time to think about it. They don't want you to contact them back or reach out to a family member. They're going to pressure you to acting quickly and making an uninformed decision. And once they've got you doing that, they're going to want their money. So common things to look out for when they want their money, they want it in a fast, non-traceable way. So you're going to see them ask for gift cards, uh, cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin uh, or others. Uh, or even electronic money transfers. If you do fall victim to a scam, there are a number of steps to take afterwards. Uh, if you have given personal information or have lost money, we need you to contact the police. Contact your local police and let them know. Uh, if you haven't provided any personal information or lost any money, uh, you can contact the Canadian Anti-Fraud Centre um, because we want to know about it. Uh, other things that you need to do to protect yourself, check your banking statements regularly. Um, check with your uh, credit agencies either through TransUnion or Equifax to make sure you're not the victim of identity fraud. Um, but those are some steps that you could take to protect yourself in the event that this happens. Victoria Famia, Castanet News in Vernon.